What up y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and today we're gonna talk... Wait a minute, where am I? When did I grow facial hair? And why is my penis so big? Oh, that's right, it's always been big. But, in all seriousness, where am I? <laughs> Don't you remember? You moved. See ya. I moved? When? I don't remember anything. Don't you have a very long delayed video to talk about? She's right. Oh my I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Okay, without any further ado, let's get at him with this long awaited review. What happened to my facial hair? Now, Raymond was released in 1988, directed by Barry Livingston. It tells a story about a young car dealer who finds out his father has passed away. He learns that his father has left him no money, and he tracks the heritage to a mental hospital. There, he discovers he has an older brother who is on the autism spectrum. Feeling that he is owed a portion of the money, he takes his brother on a cross-country road trip. However, the trip turns out a lot differently as it changes both their lives forever. Now, the last time we talked about something that covered the subject of autism, it was back when we talked about the movie Music. And we all know how much of a masterpiece that was. Hey, are you going to make fun of me throughout the entire video again? Maybe. <laughs> okay, see ya. I promise I'm not going to roast you throughout the entire video. I'll believe it when I see it. However, just like music, this movie gets a little bit of criticism for its portrayal of autism. Not as much as music, but in recent years, a little bit. Despite that, I still regard this as a very well-made movie. So let's start off by talking about Tom Cruise's character, Charlie. Because I personally think he doesn't get enough credit for this movie. Now, Charlie is a young, hot-tempered, self-centered car dealer who, throughout the movie, at times, you don't really like him, but you still understand his anger. Mostly because of the rocky relationship he has with his father. Uh-oh! Someone has some daddy issues. Some of Tom Cruise's best acting is when he learns that his father leaves him no money. You really do see all the anger and the betrayal he feels towards his father. Right, beneficiary. He got three million dollars, but he didn't get the rose bushes. I got the rose bushes. I definitely got the rose bushes. Charles. If there is a hell, sir, my father's in it, and he is looking up right now, and he is laughing his ass off. And there are a lot of times where you do question the things he does, especially to his brother Raymond. He technically kidnaps his brother to get money. He even goes out of his way to teach Raymond how to count cards and blackjack. Now, rather counting cards is legal or illegal, I'm not 100% sure. But seeing that he's played by Tom Cruise, there are worse things he could be forcing down Raymond's throat. You don't condone the things he says to Raymond. But like I said, you do feel his frustration. You know what I think, Ray? I think this autism is a bunch of shit. Because you can't tell me that you're not in there somewhere. And we all know Tom Cruise can pull off a good tantrum. I don't ever want to see it again. Ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. Do it again, you're f Now let's discuss Dustin Hoffman as Raymond. A lot of controversy surrounds this character. A lot of people say that it's not an accurate portrayal of autism. And while I can see it in some parts, oh, 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 oh. Those are alphabetized. I still think this is a great performance. Raymond was based off of the real life savant Ken Peek, and Dustin Hoffman did work with the autism community to help get the feeling of what it's like to be autistic. He gets some of the traits pretty good. The lack of eye contact, the repetitive sounds and gestures, the fear of getting out of daily routines, and sensitivity to sound and feel and such. Dustin Hoffman's just a powerhouse actor whenever he's not in crappy movies. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. Yeah. 
know how to drive? Yeah. Well, we'll have to let you drive sometime. <laughs> For any criticisms with this movie, I will say it is a bit exposition-y. In other words, the characters have to kind of explain about what's going on to let the audience know. That's one of my biggest issues with most movies about autism. They just have to constantly explain what it is instead of showing what it is. There's a right way of doing it and there's a wrong way of doing it. This one comes in the middle. Also, the side characters aren't really important in this movie. Bonnie Hunt makes her film debut in here, and I remember her in this more than Cheaper by the Dozen. Do y'all remember Cheaper by the Dozen? Because I don't. The only two prominent side characters in this movie is Dr. Bruner, who takes care of Raymond, and Susanna, who is Charlie's girlfriend. And you really like Susanna throughout the movie. She does leave towards the middle and doesn't come back till the last third. And this is where she gets a little... Ewy. Uh-oh. I'm hard. Yeah. Definitely hard. I'm still not entirely sure why she did that. Either she's tired of Charlie, she feels bad for Raymond, or we just assume the obvious. Me so horny. But then again, he is played by Tom Cruise, and we all know how all of his relationships end. Now, if you decide to watch this movie, I will give one disclaimer. Charlie does call Raymond and refers to him as... I gotta use a bad word. Retard. <gasps> did he just say I did? Now, before you all go crazy, just hear me out. I understand how the meaning of that word has changed throughout time, but this was made in the 80s. Heck, that was a time when autism would be referred to as a disease sometimes. A brother who has spent his life in a mental home trapped inside the disease of autism. No hard feelings, Ebert. No hard feelings. Autism wasn't unknown but it wasn't very well known. I'm somebody who doesn't make the excuse, oh, I don't like this movie because it was made at a different time. I think that's a poor excuse. This movie is rated R. It contains harsh language. And if you can't handle movies with harsh language, then you shouldn't be watching rated R movies. Only had to piss somebody off there. Also, the story is quite predictable. You've probably seen a story like this a couple of other times. However, what makes it up is the acting, directing, the writing, cinematography, and editing. Take a look at this scene. This is where Charlie finds out that Raymond's his brother. We could see it coming, but the editing and Charlie's reaction is what makes this scene work. Bruner, who is this guy? Raymond is your brother. My brother? I, I don't have a brother. On a side note, this was composer Hans Zimmer's first Hollywood production. And his musical score is really good and relaxing. But am I the only one who's getting a Donkey Kong vibe from it? Well, at least it's not like other Donkey Kong music. I shower you with coconut cream pies. Ew. Overall, I really do like Rain Man. During the production of this movie, Tom Cruise said that it was just two schmucks in a car, but I guess that's a plot that always wins Best Picture. And Dustin Hoffman said, get Richard Dreyfuss, because I can't do it. But this movie went on to be a success, winning four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and is referenced in a bunch of TV shows and movies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, definitely an oracle tells the future. So a lot of times, the story is a little flat and predictable, and the characters could use a little less exposition. 
for its two leading roles, directing, editing, and cinematography, I'm going to give Rain Man 8 out of 10 1949 Buick Roadmasters. I know I didn't go into too much detail about the movie, but I really do recommend you just see the movie. And that concludes my review on Rain Man. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Have you not? Leave a comment and a request for a future video down below. Follow my Instagram at abob1996. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And let's make a goal and get up to 20 likes for this video. Don't forget to hit the bell to be notified for future uploads. And until next time, I will see you. Who the heck are you? Raymond. How did you get in here? SIA. Sia? Did she let you in to bug me? Maybe. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, what do you think of the movie Rain Man on a scale between 1 to 10? About a zero. Yeah. Definitely a zero. Okay. Um, Want to go get pancakes? I don't know. What kind of pancakes do you like? Pancakes. I know, but what kind of pancakes do you like? Pancakes. Of course. Maple syrup needs to be on the table before the pancakes, and I need my toothpicks. I definitely need my toothpicks. Maple syrup will be on the table before the pancakes, and you will have your toothpicks. I'm an excellent driver. Okay, I'll let you drive out of the driveway. How about that? Come on, let's go. Uh-oh. Adam's dead. Yeah, definitely dead.